What's going on everyone? Uh, hard to believe it's been six months since I posted my last full video and it, it really hasn't been due to a lack of fishing. Uh, videos just take a, a bit of time to edit and I think I've just been feeling a little burnt out. Uh, but early this month or, or in early June, uh, I had a ton of fun visit, visiting one of my favorite lakes and I just wanted to share. Uh, I went up to Goldwater in Prescott, Arizona. Uh, it was on a Saturday and the place was packed. Uh, there were a ton of friendly folks that just wanted to talk fishing. Uh, unfortunately, it, it resulted in some awkward video. Um, I, I had to work to cut out either parts of the video or parts of the audio of, of strangers because I just didn't want to be disrespectful and, and include any of that. Um, you'll, you'll see what I mean when you watch it. Uh, but anyway, uh, the goal for the day was to catch some of the stalker rainbow trout that they got gotten there. And I also wanted to catch some small crayfish and try to use, use them as bait for either bass or trout. Uh, hopefully you enjoy. Brand new jar for the summer season. Normally with dough bait, I recommend uh, using a little treble hook, real small treble hook. But I'm just doing catch and release today. And treble hooks tend to tear up the trout. If you're keeping it, who cares? But if you're trying to let it live a little bit longer, I'm going to try to be a little bit more gentle. See what happens. All right, I got my favorite bumblebee yellow feather spinner or yellow jacket here. Not a bad cast given the wind. Caught a ton of trout on this thing. It's more about, am I in the right spot right now? Just don't know the answer to that yet. I think they're kissing the water up over here. I keep seeing bubbles. Oh yeah, I think I just felt, there, 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 there we go. Oh, come back, come back, come back. Dang it. There he is. Oh, he's a nice one. He's swimming towards me. He's gonna jump through. Oh! <laughs> That's alright. There we go.
So I'm gonna go grab my crayfish trap. Don't uh, let anyone steal my stuff. I, tr I trust you guys to hold it down. Nothing yet. It's all right, I'm going to a better spot. Or so I thought I was gonna put my trap in a better place. Uh, after watching this underwater video, I, I realized that I probably just needed to keep my trap in that place for a little bit longer. Um, but let me know what you think. At the same time, I wonder if I really need, needed to secure my bait in the middle of the trap, maybe with some zip ties or something like that. Uh, and yes, as you're watching, uh, that is actually the crayfish's feet that you'll be hearing. Um, I thought it was it was really interesting. see him right on the surface. It's right on the surface. Oh, there they are. Oh, 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 oh. Right on shore. Just a little guy. Sweet. You know where? 
All right, time to check the crayfish drop. Let me get my trap out of your way here. Yeah. No, no, I don't apologize. It's just like straight down. It's only been soaking for like an hour or so. I don't know if there's anything. Yeah. Okay, yeah. There it goes. Yeah, I see a few. Check that out. Oh, those are good size too. So unfortunately, when I, I threw my trap in a second time, my camera came loose and flopped downwards. It just resulted in this silly angle where all I got were extreme close-ups of the crawfish investigating my trap. All right, well, I was hoping to catch bait. These guys are way too big. Get back. There you go. Look at the claws on this guy. Jeez, that was a lobster. So I'm gonna throw this back out. The camera that's in there is dead, so I know I'm not gonna get any more good footage that way, but. Uh, I think I'm okay. I'm probably gonna take off soon. Actually, I caught a little one in my, my trap here. Real small, like perfect for bait. He's trying to bite me. right there just going nuts for it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Look at what he did. He chewed it. Oh. Well, I think I had my chance with him. That's all right. Look how tore up this thing is. He's missing the claw. Tail's coming off. This thing just got nailed. I, I missed it, but... This is my first attempt at using crayfish's bait like this, so I think I uh, want to come back, do it again. Come back when I have more time. It's only had a few hours today. <laughs> 